Welcome to Prescribing Lifestyle, the podcast that's all about empowering you to live your healthiest, happiest life. I'm your host, Dr. Avi Charlton, and each week we'll dive into the latest research, practical tips, and inspiring stories to help you optimize your well being. From nutrition and fitness to mental health and mindfulness, we'll explore every aspect of lifestyle medicine. Giving you the tools you need to make informed decisions and take control of your health. Whether you're looking into preventing disease, managing chronic conditions, or simply elevate your quality of life, Prescribing Lifestyle is here to guide you on your journey to wellness. So sit back, relax, and get ready to embark on a transformative adventure towards a healthier, happier you. Let's dive in. Welcome back to another episode of Prescribing Lifestyle. Today, I'm going to talk about 10 practical tips on maintaining a low-carb lifestyle. Sometimes it's easy to start, but sometimes it's hard to maintain. Sometimes there's other reasons. So I'm going to guide you through 10 tips that I've picked to help you guide through on maintaining a low-carb lifestyle and any lifestyle, actually. Um... So let's start with number one, know your why. We might have to keep reminding ourselves, what is the why that we're doing this lifestyle? Why are we doing this? What is the goal for long-term success? Is it to improve your health? Is it you want to lose weight? Is it you've got a certain medical condition that you want to manage? For example, diabetes, or depression, anxiety, or even mental health concerns like schizophrenia, autism. Maybe you want to increase your energy level. Sometimes just writing down your goal, knowing your why, writing down your why, clarifying your goals, that can help you stay committed and motivated. It Sometimes keep reminding yourself when you're being challenged, maybe you're stressed, maybe life takes over you, Maybe there's lots of things going on. Looking at your why and understanding why you're doing this lifestyle can be quite a helpful thing to keep reminding yourself. That's number one. Okay, number two, understand the science behind low carb. You might have to educate yourself more about the science behind low carb living. And this might help you to provide valuable insights on how and why it works. You might have to educate yourself about the hormone insulin, learning about insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, metabolic health, and why we want to have ketosis. So you don't have to have ketosis, but the benefits of being in ketosis, there's a lot of things that can be beneficial, like it'll give you more energy. It's actually quite anti-inflammatory. It's a good hormone to have around and it helps your body um, improve your feel. Your brain actually prefers to burn ketone rather than glucose. Sometimes some people being in ketosis gives you a lot more energy, lifts up the brain fog. So understanding the science of ketogenic diets or therapeutic low-carb restriction can help you. Make informed choices about your habits and your dietary choices, and that might help you navigate your challenges. Number three, you need to plan ahead. Plan ahead what you're going to eat. Plan your meals and snacks or no snacks. Maybe you need to plan it in advance. Maybe you're busy, you don't have time to plan. Maybe plan out what you're going to get when you get a takeaway. I often get souvlaki meat and a Greek salad and don't get the pita bread. If I have no time, maybe I plan to go to McDonald's and just get some beef patties and a naked burger. Um, Maybe when you're going out to a restaurant, you might have to look into into the menu in advance and plan what you're going to order rather than order it when you're having drinks with your friends and that might make you difficult to decide. Maybe you need to do some meal prep and uh, freeze the few meals that is easy to heat up. Maybe some slow-cooked meals can be really easy to just put in a microwave after defrosting. Having up your sleeve some low-carb meal options can be very, very helpful 
when you're having this lifestyle. Maybe you can order some low carb food uh, boxes. Like、um, I've got connections with、uh, some ready made meals. So, those are the ideas that we can plan ahead. Number four,、uh, stock up on low carb foods and don't keep any nasty temptations in your pantry. So, keep your kitchen stocked up with meat, proteins, eggs. Above ground vegetables, nuts and seeds, and lots of healthy fats. Clean out your pantry of any high carb food or processed foods, vegetable oil, canola oil, so it doesn't tempt you anymore. Chuck out all the chocolate, sweets, any chips. Don't put them in the cupboard. Don't buy them and chuck them out. Chuck all the pasta out and、uh, keep your pantry well stocked. With good foods and your fridge easy to access, nutritious foods like cheese and eggs and meat, then you don't have the temptation and you have plenty of low carb food you can choose. Number five, learn how to read food labels. Familiarize yourself with reading food labels.、Uh, identify the hidden sugars and hidden starches. I do have a handout in my、uh, free low carb group if you want to have a handout. On how to read food labels, in just a, a briefly is、um, we I suggest people to look at the carbohydrate content rather than the total sugar content, and look at the per hundred gram and try to aim less than five. Try to aim less than five ingredients in the food labels, and try to avoid all the processed foods. You can come and see me, and we can talk about how to read food labels. Number six is stay hydrated and learn to re- replenish electrolytes. In this low carb lifestyle, you need some salt. You need sodium, potassium, and even magnesium. So staying hydrated is very, very important. If you're dehydrated, you might feel unwell. You might have keto flu, headaches, tired, brain fog, and、uh, you might be craving sugar a bit more. So it's important to have enough salt and have enough water. Number seven, find some low carb swaps. Be creative in your kitchen with low carb alternatives. For example, if you have pasta, you can swap it for spiralized zucchini, or even lettuce wraps. You might want to replace rice with cauliflower rice. You can replace noodles with konjac noodles, and、um, I have stir fry. Meat with a couple of fried eggs as a replacement. So there's plenty of low carb swaps and replacement you can have.、Um, I still have pizza, but I have my pizza base made with minced chicken or turkey. So I feel like I'm having pizza as well. And、um, you can still enjoy the flavors and the textures while keeping your carbohydrate in check. Number eight is harness the community. Have a good community that supports you. Surround yourself with like-minded people that supports a low-carb lifestyle. You can follow lots of people on your on social media on what they do on the low-carb journey. You can join lots of support groups. I run a support group called Melbourne Low Carb Clinic Free Community, and you're most welcome to join my community. There's lots of other communities like Aussie Keto or Keto for Beginners, whatever there is, and you can have face-to-face meetings. I'm having a low carb dinner coming up next month on the 18th of May, and you're most welcome to buy a ticket, and we can have a nice meal dinner together with a couple of talks. This these communities provide accountability, motivation, especially during challenging times. I also have a low carb support group. We zoom each other every fortnight. I call the group Low Carb Pro, and you can head to my、uh, website and you can join as a member. And we have a talk every fortnight to talk about a topic. And we it's an accountability group. We talk about how each other are going. We're up to number nine is work on other lifestyle pillars. 
Remember that maintaining a low carb lifestyle isn't just about one aspect of your health and well being. It's not just about nutrition. It's about lots of other things like regular exercise, stress management, making sure you have quality sleep and prioritize our sleep, doing meditation, and getting outside into the sun and getting some uh, sunlight and regulating our circadian health. Incorporating all those practices into your lifestyle routine can complement your low carb efforts and contribute to improved physical and mental health. So don't just look at nutrition, look at all the other lifestyle pillars that I talk about. Number 10, and the most important is keep learning. Stay curious, learn about yourself, learn about your body, learn about the science, learn about low carb living, nutrition and health. Keep listening to uh, podcasts, YouTubes, and read lots of books, attend seminars, and seek out reputable sources to expand your knowledge and stay informed about the latest research and developments. The more you learn, the better you are equipped to make informed choices and make a sustainable low-carb lifestyle for the long term. So I'm just going to summarize the 10 tips on how to maintain a low-carb lifestyle. Number one, know your why. Number two, understanding the science behind low carb. Number three, plan ahead. Number four, stock up on low carb foods and avoid temptations. Number five, learn how to read food labels. Number six, stay hydrated and replenish electrolytes. Number seven, find low carb swaps. Number eight, harness the community. Number nine, work on other lifestyle pillars like stress, sleep, exercise, sunlight. Number 10, keep learning. I hope this has been a a helpful podcast. Please leave me a comment and follow me on socials for further information. You can direct message me for uh, lots of information and uh, get in touch with me. Thank you. Before we finish, I want to tell you about an exciting event I'll be hosting. I have planned a low-carb dinner at Bucatini Restaurant in Mitcham on Saturday, 18th of May, 6.30. Please join us in this event with delicious food, inspiring conversations and practical insights on how to live a low-carb lifestyle. I have invited health coach Charlie Nesta and nutritionist Carla V. Carter as guest speakers. I have organised sponsors with prizes in the goodie bags We have plenty of time to ask questions and connect with each other. And we'll have an amazing lucky draw with lots of contribution from our sponsors. So please join me in this amazing event I have put together for you. Don't miss out. Reserve your spot. Tickets are limited. Get to my website or check out the show notes for more details. Hope to see you there. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Prescribing Lifestyle. We hope you found today's discussion insightful and motivating. Remember, your health journey is a marathon, not a sprint. Implementing small, sustainable changes over time can lead to sustainable improvements in your well-being. Remember, these podcasts are not to be treated as medical advice. You should see your own doctor for medical treatment, or you can come in to see me in my clinic in Melbourne Low Carb Clinic, face-to-face or telehealth Australia-wide. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, rate and review us on your favourite podcast platform. Your feedback helps us reach more listeners and continue bringing you valuable content. I also want to invite you to head to the website of Melbourne Low Carb Clinic to download a free ebook and join my free community on Facebook. Stay connected with us on the socials and don't forget to share this podcast with your friends and family who might benefit from our discussions. Until next time, keep prioritizing your health and embrace the power of lifestyle medicine. Take care and see you soon on Prescribing Lifestyle.